Howdy, it's me, Manic Mark, coming to you from the bunker system located underneath the art villa found somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest. Start that over again. Hey, howdy, it's me, Manic Mark. It's not hey, howdy, it's just howdy. Howdy, it's me, Manic Mark. I'm coming to you from the bunker system. It's right here. Located uh, in the jungles of the Midwest, somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest, underneath the art villa. Anyway, that's where, that's where I'm coming from. I got this. It's an aluminum lightning bolt. Made out of aluminum, a lightning bolt. I can run a wire in here and mount it to something. and I can have lights coming out of it like that. Christmas tree lights, I think. Okay, got that. That'll be something else I'll just put right here for later. All right. Got some records today. It's record day. Woo! Record day. Oh my God. It was the foggiest morning ever. Okay. The guard guy on the radio. No, it was the home improvement guy. He said this is the foggiest day he could ever remember. And I have to agree with him. Uh, it was like 9 o'clock, and I'm in. Mean, it, it wasn't like horrible. It was a kind of a weird fog, but it was all over everywhere. I mean, it just wasn't. In the river valleys, that was what was unusual about it. It was foggy everywhere. This video goes out to um, Harry, Harry, Harry Reams, no, Harry James, no, Harry, Harry Johnson, Harry Johnson, the video, shout out to Harry Johnson. Um, I don't know what he calls himself on. Bert. Sorry, I just don't, I'm just, I'm just not up to the, I'm not up to the frivolity. Frivolity? Frivolity. Got some records today. A thin stack of records. The only story I have, and it's, it's one of those things you kind of had to be there, but it's just little things that strike me, you know. I go to I go to the Myers uh, Saturday morning after I go to Half Price Books and I do my shopping. And um, uh, the only two things, uh, uh, walking down an aisle and I pass this woman and and I, I don't I, I walk down I'm going the other way and here she comes and she gives me a big smile. But that was quite nice. Usually like. Nobody makes eye contact with anyone like that. So either there's something wrong with her, she's just super friendly and hasn't been, um, you know, um, taken advantage of yet. So, oh, that reminds me, speaking of manipulation, there was this online survey, uh, like 20, 20 things you need to look out for, um, it, like if you're, if you're a psychopath, I guess if you're a psychopath, or, you, or you, you're looking for traits, of a psychopath, and one of them is, is, is if you're not startled by a backfire, then you're probably a psychopath. And I can't remember the last time I heard a backfire, like, yeah, you know, uh, what was some of the other ones? Oh, if you have a bad sense of smell, you're probably a psychopath. If you're fastidiously clean, and you're a psychopath. If you take more than one shower a day, you're probably a psychopath. Oh, and there were others. Um, what the hell? Oh. If you're really good, um, if you're a really good speaker, public speaker, you're probably a psychopath. Something like that. Anyway, I don't, I don't. I have a splinter or something in my finger. My fingers are full of these little tiny splinters from working. Anyway, ow, owie. Okay, never mind about the talk. Where was I? Okay, so then I walk by the woman again, and she laughs, and she says, "Hey, um, we're probably gonna do this through the whole the rest of the store." I'm just like, you know, you're kind of nice. What? I, it was just a thing. She was just so nice. I just, I laughed and said, "Okay," but the thing, the real story was, I'm wait, I'm checking out, and there were enough checkout count. There wasn't a big like, nobody, and so this guy comes up behind me. And he, he looks like he just literally got out of bed. His hair's all smashed in the back, like smashed up. 
like he had brill cream in it or something. It was all smashed up in a heap, obviously from like laying down on a pillar or something. And he had come to Myers, all the way out to Myers from wherever he lived, crawled right out of bed, came to Myers to buy two six packs of Mountain Dew and a tube of Crest, Crest, Crest toothpaste. Those are the stories I want to know about. Why? I just said, hey, mister, why uh, Mountain Dew and Crest toothpaste so early in the morning? What got, what got you out of bed this morning? I don't think I brought this up since last year. The Christmas poop. That's a really small poop. Should I tell the Christmas poop story again? Where's the giant poop? There's a bigger one here someplace. Probably wasn't room for it out here, so I just left the small Christmas poop out. Can you hear the Christmas music coming from the TV upstairs? It's perfect timing. So I'm working, and I go to the... No, oh, I have to tell, never mind about the Christmas poop story. I got another story. I almost forgot about this one. So I go to the restroom, the one that's not where the public can easily get to it in the building, the museum, where I'm working sometimes on and off, okay? And I walk in there, and there's only one person in there. Who is it? It's Santa Claus. Santa Claus is taking a leak at the urinal, and I'm like, oh, I only... For a minute, I thought I should turn around and leave because this is just not right for me to be in a, you know, seeing Santa Claus. And then I realized it's just Bruce. It's Bruce dressed up in a Santa Claus outfit. So, I, so I, I can take a leak next to Bruce. What the hell? So I get on up there and I'm taking a leak. And then I wonder, I said, Bruce, what, what, why, what are you over here for? And he says, well, I can't go to the restroom that's right next to the chair where I, you know, talk to the kids. I have to come over here to get away from them because the parents and the kids just follow me right into the into the restroom when I, and I'm thinking, oh yeah, why? Well, of course they do. Because just like me, when I walked in, I saw oh, Santa Claus taking a piss. It's like nobody's ever seen Santa Claus take a piss, ex except perhaps for me. Um, so of course they're gonna follow me. Like, well, he can't possibly be human. The kids are like, wow, you know, what are you doing here, Santa Claus? You're, you don't have uh, human parts. What are you, you? Nobody ever discusses that part, of being, how to be Santa Claus. Let's see, there's a splinter. So then I, I, I wait around. I, say, I, I, I wait to see if he washes his hands. I figure, oh, you know, he probably should. And then he does. And he's, he's got his little gloves. and. He says that being Santa Claus makes him sick every year. The kids come in and they, they're dripping snot and stuff. And but there's something there. He gets something out of it, so he keeps doing it. So anyway, that was the end of that story. Mountain Dew and Crest Toothpaste. That was the other I, I finished that one. Okay. Sort of out, out of sorts today. You probably can't tell. But I am. Anyway. That's it. That's it. And you know it's winter when I go to the Guinness. Although it was 25 degrees last night, and then it's up to 50 today. I got the fire burning upstairs. It's like burning me out, so I came down here where it's cooler in the basement of my T-shirt, uh, waiting for the fire to kind of go down, go out. Hmm. What part of your tongue tastes... Taste the Guinness beer. It's not. It's sort of bitter. It's sort of bitter, and it's sort of sweet at the same time. So it's bit bitter and sweet. Guinness beer, bitter sweet, bitter sweet. Oh. To the records, it's. Exotic mysteries. The Indian, the Indian records I got last week, you know, with the strange titles. Didn't care for them anyway. Okay, it's Nancy Sinatra, her country album. You know it's country because on the back she's wearing a cowboy hat, and the title is "Country My Way." 
And it's a nice photograph of Nancy on the cover. There's a sticker. It says, including Jackson. Jackson who? I don't know. Uh, but she's doing it with Lee Hazelwood, and there he is on the back. Had a conversation at work with a guy that actually remembered Lee Hazelwood. And uh, Nancy Sinatra, the record they did together. Um, there's another one, but apparently they did some songs off of this one, too. Uh huh. All right. I've got this record and the next record. I wasn't sure if I had a mini fresh copy, so I picked it up again. It's Chris Montez. Now, I'm not one for male vocalists for the most part. I don't know. I've been thinking why that is. I kind of like I like the timbre, the tone, the delivery, the emotion, and female, the work that female vocalists do. Um, but this guy is an excellent Chris Montez. The more I see you, uh, call me, watch what happens. Just a, a really interesting voice. Nice style. Nice voice. Chris Montez. Uh, don't go for Dixieland, but this was a great cover. A really budget label parade. <laughs> Aldridge, I uh, said I wouldn't pick up any more of his records, uh, but this has got Hey Jude on it, a cover of Hey Jude, so I picked it up. It's a fun cover, and I don't have it, so there you go, picked it up. Bonnie Guitar, pure country music from the regions of the heart, Bonnie Guitar. I have one of Bonnie Guitar, another Bonnie Guitar album, I, don't, I can't remember which one, but this looks like it's almost like a reissue, however, it's not, it's from 1969. Local Gospels Artist Records. 
It's the United Gospel Singers. Nice photograph of them on the back. That could be some good stuff right there. On another label that printed some budget stuff is the Louis Prima uh, uh, record. Interesting cover. There he is on the back. All right, that could be fun. Uh, I think Frank X. Feller, another bu budget label, Sun Guitar Boogie. It'll probably feature something from this, I hope. It's sort of an obscurity. It's the Michael Ruff duo on the back. It's Michael, Michael Ruff, not Michael Ruff, but Michael Dw Dwight, 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 Mitchell, and Willie Ruff. Mitchell, Mitchell Ruff. My, oh my God. Anyway, it's a nice cover. There's aliens on the front and everything. So uh, probably feature something from that. I wish I had more energy. I wish I'd just this. More energy. Whoopie doopie. Whoopie doopie. Whoopie doopie. What about that? Whoopie doopie jungle boy. I gotta get a pair of tweezers and work on this hand. I can't just be walking around with these damn splinters sticking in my hand like that. That's the end of it. Magic 8 Ball, is this gonna be the best video ever? My, my success says no. My sources say no. Thank you, Magic 8-Ball, you bastard.